the tempo against QPR and, and Ipswich Town this week, and it really is progressing to, to the 9th of August quite quickly, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. A couple of games now against obviously Premiership, Championship teams. It's going to be a really tough game. Uh, I think the gaps that we're playing, 45 minutes one game and 45 minutes another game. So it'll be a good test, which I'm really looking forward to. It'll be nice to get back at Roots Hall as well, in front of the fans. And, uh, and for, for players in this division, it's always nice to go up against the, the bigger sides, even if it is just pre-season, isn't it? To give yourself as good a test but before the season starts. Yeah, definitely. Because obviously there are, um, there are a few levels up above us, so it'll be more of a difficult game, be a different type of game than in league football. It's more competitive and probably a lot more physical and in the air, which when you come against the championship games, teams it's more on the ground and the football and test, but um, one I'm really looking forward to. Well, I suppose for you, it's, it's been a really good pre-season, hasn't it? Because you, you've, you've played the majority of the games in that central midfield role and, and you're ma making your mark ahead of the season. Yeah, well, I've, I've worked out over the summer. Um, I, I trained hard, I came back in good shape and I've had a good pre-season so far. So I just need to keep it up, doing well in these games and hopefully be in the team for the start of the season. Yeah. Bill, it's, it's <coughs> certainly up in the tempo over the next couple of days with, with Ipswich and QPR in town. It is, and uh, it's... Um... It's a balance I've got to get right uh, between, um, I suppose, the results, the performances, and the trialists. And it's, a, it's a real, it's a real tough one for me because I don't want to disrespect the Ipswich or QPR, and I'm not going to. I'm going to play the first team to start both games. But how quickly, you know, I make substitutions, I'll probably be making them as early as half time, you know. And so the players will get 45 minutes on. on Tuesday and we'll get 45 minutes on Wednesday as well. Uh, but we'll have a look at um, a few trailers in the um, in the second half of the both games. But not just that, the, the lads, of, the young lads like the, the Ellis Browns and the Jordan Williams who played came on against uh, against uh, who did you play? Who did you play? Charlton. Charlton came on against Charlton uh, for the last 15, 20 minutes and looked good. Uh, Jason Williams, Josh Patton, you know. They'll be in and around the first team to come the, the next couple of games, but I'm hoping to arrange a, a game probably on Friday or Saturday, if not the latest Monday, but I get 90 minutes under the belt of, of every other player. You know, I mean, Barry Coe's not played 90 minutes yet. Lee Bernard's not played like 90 minutes yet. So if they get 90 minutes in the Tuesday and Wednesday game, and then another 90 minutes, they should be ready for action come the, the 7th of August, is 9th of August.